All right, we're heading back into uh, our local Goodwill. It is Thursday. This is like, what, my third or fourth day in a row going in here. Let's see if we can find anything good today. Okay, I only picked up two things inside the store today. One was this Coleman. There's the model number. It's a it's a spotlight. So it's, it's huge. It was eight bucks. I'll throw some comps up on the screen for you. It seems to be, there was only two solds. Both have the box, but they're both used. It seems to be like $60. And I picked up this tactical bag. It's by Mercury Tactical Gear. It's a good rucking pack. Uh, has a camel back in the back, a hydration flask, if you will. And it was $10. And this thing, the prices are all over the board. Brand new ones are selling for a hundred and some dollars. I'll throw the comps up. The used ones aren't as much, but still, uh, we'll sell it. I might give it to my brother. He does a lot of stuff like this. I used to do a lot with Spartan races and I'd take Camelbacks and everything, but yeah, this is a great one here. So that's all we got. Now we're gonna head off to the next store. All right, everybody. We just arrived at the second Goodwill. This is the one that we affectionately call Gucci Wheel because the prices are absolutely ridiculous. I know everybody says about their local Goodwills, but trust me when I say this is the craziest one that we've seen in this area. So let's go see if we can find something. Adriana Gold Screen, those are excellent. Now that is my team right there. Let's go, Phillies. Digital cameras are popular again, so it's one I'm gonna check out. Here's some Gucci Will prices for you. Check these out. All right, here's a recap from what we got inside this store. Uh, it's getting dark, so hopefully we can see these. We've got these uh, Echo Unlimited jeans here. They have an incredible sell-through. Again, I'll throw some comps up. Picked up a pair of, showed you these briefly in the store, these Adriana Goldschmied. The Graduate is the style. This is a fantastic bolo brand, if you don't know about it. They almost always sell for at least 30 bucks. Some Mavi, or Mavi, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Marcus, Slim Straight, brand new with tags. They were seven bucks, I think. Kodak Easy Share camera, model C743. C743, it's like a $30 camera. Uh, we got that for the kids. And then the greatest find of the day so far, size 4XL, Merry Christmas, <coughs> it's full. I'll let you fill that one in, but it's getting to be that time. And this is official uh, Christmas, National Lampoon's Christmas vacation tag. So that is an, ain't she a Butte Clark? All right, we got one more stop, so let's go. All right, last stop, we have found a Salvation Army. We've been to this one quite often. It's getting late, but it's a lovely night. So let's head on inside, and then after this, we're gonna go get some dinner with the in-laws. Anybody want some green Uggs and ham? Sorry, I couldn't and resist. People just yeah, sorry. Please don't hate me or unsubscribe. I had to say that. There's some pretty sweet hats here. That one. This one. This one. And then the coolest one yet. But this St. Louis Cardinals hat is beautiful. I'm a Phillies fan, but I do respect the look of that hat. But it's going to be a no because it's. Not the right brand. Boy, oh, found some terrible towels. Um, what's the back look like? 
Probably not. All right, here's a couple of bolos for you. We're not gonna pick this one up. It's $3 because there are a couple stains on it, but it's just like, a, it's called a satin lined baby blanket. If you just put in like satin bordered baby blanket and have these like real smooth satin, uh, they can be worth hundreds of dollars. This one has stains, otherwise we'd get it. There's right down there. But that is definitely something to be on the lookout for. Satin border baby blankets. And I am gonna get this. Mm -hmm is a shoot rib protector get that I was walking by and I saw this awesome pattern and I recognized the logo some really sweet burton sweatpants so I'm those over but that's most certainly a grab alright the store is closing in about 10-15 minutes so I gotta hurry through the jeans and everything because they when it's closing time they shut it down like the lights are gonna go off here any second now probably Let's see what they got. Ooh, Ariat. M2 for 10 bucks. That's a buy. Ariats are a fantastic gene. Here we go. Anybody want some want a, a Gooch shirt? It's not Gucci. Just Gooch. Yeah. $13 for a Gooch. Or a Gook. <laughs> All right, I'm back from the last place. I'm actually back at the house now. I thought I'd just show you a quick recap of everything we got at that last place since I wasn't able to show it in the car afterwards because it was dark. But I did pick up these Burton snowboard pants. These things are fantastic. I love the pattern on these. So cool. Uh, I don't know if they have a specific name for them, but let's see. I paid $15. Let's see what it says inside here. Drat Ride LS. No. But there's those. Got those. I showed you the Ariats in the store briefly, but Ariat is definitely a bolo brand for jeans. They make FR, the flame resistant jeans. These are the M2. These are traditional relaxed boot cut. These are not flame resistant, but 10 bucks for these, as you can see. That's a nice profit for those. I got these, they're a uh, water drop. These are filters. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but you can see the model number, WD-LT700P. There's four of them in here, and I only paid four bucks for them, I believe it was. So they're, that should fetch about $25 for those. Picked up this shoot. Shoot or shut, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. S C H U T T. And it is the hard shell rib protector. These things are great. This brand is great as far as athletic gear. Um, a lot of this stuff can be worth money. It's a it's a bolo brand. If you find it, look it up. I got that. I don't know if this applies to all uh, Salvation Armies nationwide. It might. Uh, it says Black Friday 50% off everything except furniture. So there's that for you. That is everything that I got at the last store. Not too much. They were closing right as we were checking out. And believe me when I say when it's closing time there, it's closing time. They were shutting off the lights. They're like, get out. So we got out. Uh, I'll show you this here real quick. This is my, uh, I'm a big 80s fan. I was an 80s child. So I just thought I'd show you some of the cool stuff that I have from the 80s. Some of my VHS tapes, some macaroni and cheese boxes, some of my Garfield books. I was a huge Garfield fan growing up. Goonies, it's my favorite movie. Found this Def Leppard old carnival mirror the other day to sell for a buck. I had to grab that. Just some different random things. An old unopened Brillo box. Some cassettes. That's just some of my stuff. A few other things here. Some paintings. I found this painting here, the Death Star for a dollar at a yard sale this summer. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to keep that. And then this one here, there's a local artist they did. It's got Groot and Yoda. I'm like, that's just too cool. It's one painting, but I'm thinking of like just dividing it because, it, you know, I could, could cut it up and put it into two. And as a Phillies fan, here's a Greg Luzinski trading card painting from Tops 1978. There's the card. And somebody did a painting of it. So I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. But 
All right, that's everything for this video, and I'll be back with more. Thanks for watching.